In exercise 411, they give you the name for an alkane and they want you to draw the structure of it. And so with these, it's sometimes a little easier because you get to draw it however you want to, but you always want to start by drawing the backbone. And so here, the prefix in our backbone is pent, and that means that we have five carbons. So we'll say, now when you draw the carbons, always draw a dot first. A very common mistake is to draw a line and say one, but that's actually two carbons. So when you start drawing the carbon chain, you just draw a dot, that's one, two, three, four, five. So you have your zigzag line there. If you look at the bonding, the infix here is an, and so we're going to have all single bonds, so we've taken care of that already. And we don't have to add any other elements in because the suffix is e, so that means it's just hydrogen and carbon there. So that's our backbone, pentane. Now we get to number this however we want to. We're drawing the molecule, and so I'm going to number it just left to right. It's easiest for me to see things that way. And then you just look at each branch. So for, your, for our first branch, we have an isopropyl branch coming off of carbon number three. Remember, isopropyl was when you have that snake's tongue and just three carbons in it. It was one of those branches with branches that we talked about in a previous video and that you would want to have memorized. And then we have two, two branches, methyl branches. Now a methyl branch has one carbon and it's a branch, so we're just going to be drawing one carbon here. One of these methyl branches is coming off of carbon two, and the other methyl branch is coming off of carbon, oh man, I went from three to five. I know how to count. There's four and five there. The other methyl branch is coming off of carbon four. Okay, okay, so we have our, our, in black, we have our pentane backbone. I've numbered them, the carbons in green, correctly now. And then you can see at carbon three, we have our isopropyl group in orange. And off of carbon two and four, we have each a methyl group coming off of each one in purple. And so that would be the structure. You wouldn't leave these numbers here, but that is three isopropyl. 2,4-dimethylpentane. We can follow a similar procedure to do this next one. So look at the backbone first. Here our backbone is hexane. If you ever have trouble seeing the backbone, the backbone is what comes after the last YL. Remember that YL is a branch. So after you have the last YL, everything after that is going to be your parent chain. So for example, you're reading it left to right, ah, there's a YL. Let's see if we have any others. Ah, we do. Do we have any others? No other YLs. That means this one is the last one, and everything to the right of it is the parent chain. So our parent chain here is hexane. The prefix is hex, so we're going to be drawing six carbons. Start with a dot. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The infix here is an. Let me uh, just do this. We had hex for the prefix. Our infix is an. That means that we have all single bonds. So we're taken care of there. And then we don't have to worry about drawing any other elements in because our suffix is e, and e is telling us that we have a hydrocarbon. So just hydrogen and carbon. Now I get to number this however I want because I'm drawing the molecule. So you could number it however you want. I'm going to number it left to right. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so those are my carbons. So my first branch is coming off of carbon four. So that's gonna be this one. And here, the prefix for this is F. And what that means is that that branch is gonna have two carbons. So one, two. Notice I'm not counting the carbon that's part of the backbone because that's named as part of the backbone. I'm only counting two off of the backbone. So that's two. There's our ethyl group coming off of carbon number four. Next, we have a methyl group. And the fact that it's a methyl group means there's just going to be one carbon in this branch. And that's coming off of carbon number two. So 
carbon number two right here, we've got a methyl group coming off. So just this one carbon off of the backbone. And that's it. That's 4-ethyl-2-methylhexane. Get rid of the numbers, and there we have our molecule. Okay, one more example of these. So in this one, we're looking, we're reading, we want to find the last YL. So we see, ah, here's a YL. Do we have any YLs after that? No. So everything to the right of that YL is going to be our backbone, cyclopropane. Now cyclo, that tells us we're going to go in a ring. Prop, that means we have three carbons. So what does a three carbon ring look like? It looks like a triangle. So we've got that. Next, uh, the infix is an, so all single bonds, so we're covered there. And the suffix is e, so we only have hydrogen and carbon, so we don't have to worry about drawing any weird elements in there. Okay, well, we're drawing the molecule. We could number it however you want, however we want. I'm going to draw it clockwise, number it clockwise. And in terms of branches, we only have one type of branch. So the type of branch is the methyl branch. We have four of them, though. That prefix four tells us how many methyl branches we have, four of them. And they're coming off of the numbers that we see at the left. So one of the methyl branches will be coming off of carbon number one. Another methyl branch will also be coming off of carbon number one. A methyl branch will be coming off of carbon number two. And another methyl branch will be coming off of carbon number two. So that would be 1,1,2,2-tetramethylcyclopropane. Um, let me just note, I'm numbering these in a particular way, but I mentioned how you could number them however you want. And so you may have the correct drawing for these without them looking exactly like the ones that I have. For example, what if you went counterclockwise? If you had one, two, and three like that, perfectly fine. You'd have the two methyl groups coming off of carbon one, the two methyl groups coming off of carbon two, and these are actually the same thing. Those are the same molecule, because you can take this and flip it like a pancake, and, um, and it would turn into the other one. So if you took that over, took it with a spatula, and flipped it, you'd have this molecule on the right. So those are actually the same molecule. So even if it looks different, if you follow these rules, you'll end up with the correct